Jesus asks one of the most profound questions in all of sacred scripture today to his disciples. Can you drink the cup that I drink? In other words, he was asking, are you willing to follow me on the path to Jerusalem? It means a path that entails the willingness to surrender and to suffer and to offer sacrificial service. This was not the path that James and John were expecting. They wanted glory without the cross. And so, dear friends, all of us must answer that same question. When Jesus says to us, can you drink the cup that I drink? And I'm sure all of us want to say sincerely, yes, Lord, I can. But remember what that means each and every day. It means to surrender my way, my will, my desires, and embrace the Lord's. It means a willingness to suffer, to share, to carry the cross of the Lord, and not to, to run from it, not to despair in the midst of the cross. And it also means a willingness to imitate Jesus, the one we are told in today's gospel who came not to be served, but to serve. That understanding is reflected when we are willing to offer sacrificial service. In other words, there's a cost on behalf of our brothers and sisters, especially those in most need. So pray for that grace to be able to say, yes, Lord, I can drink from the cup that you drink. And I understand what it means. Surrender, suffering, and sacrificial service. And so the challenge is this. Find a concrete way to offer your time and your talent in service of others, and perhaps in a way like never before. October is the month of the Holy Rosary, and also the Major League Baseball playoffs, and also your opportunity to subscribe here to Two Minutes to Virtue.